Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how to um, use this awesome new ordering question type on Moodle that um, John added to our options. Um, I really like this. It's really great. I'm going to use it a lot in my class. Um, so I want to show you a little bit because it's not quite as intuitive as some of the other question types. So um, if you look at this, I'm going to scroll down and show you. I, I had already made my quiz. If you don't know how to do that or set that up, um, just let me know. Um, and this is under the edit quiz section um, of, of Moodle. It'll pop this up. And it shouldn't have any questions at first. I just had one there. Um, and you add a new question. And the question type you're going to pick is ordering. Um, there's a couple other options on there that are new. We'll, um, I'll probably do some other videos to show you those. You're going to add an ordering question. The question name is just the way that Moodle works. Everything has to have a name, so it saves. So I tend to name mine what type of question it is and then a number. And then you're going to put the directions. Put the following books of the Old Testament in order as mine. Or put the following sentences in order or, um, you know, whatever in order basically. Um, and then you've got, um, I ignore the general feedback, the default points you can change um, to how many things there are. Layout, most of us would say vertical. Item selection type, you can basically make a section, you can check that yourself. So the grading types are a little different than um, I've seen. Essentially it's a way to give them more points. Absolute position is what you would expect if they get a correct answer. Um, it has to be in the exact order, so um, that's pretty normal. Relative to the next item means they just want to make sure um, that they're all in order except maybe the first and last are different. Um, the important thing is to read this and see, for example, relative to the next item, the first one says the points will be less, the highest score will be the same. Relative to previous and next items gives them double the points, basically. Um, the possible answers are, are twice. And then I have no idea what the math is saying about this relative to all previous and next items. Um, that's a lot of algebra. So anyway, you can figure that out. I'm just going to use absolute um, because I want them to get it in exact order. Um, and then I'm just adding in my options in order. So that's the important thing. Um, I'm putting them all in order. Um, numbers, Deuteronomy, um, you could do whole sentences here. That's um, pretty easy. But I want to have more items than six, so you just add three more items. The page will reload and give you three more blanks. Um, if you don't need all the blanks, which I'm not going to need, you can leave it blank, and it won't um, fill it in. Um, it'll just only give eight options. Um, so that's, um, that's fine. I saved it. Um, I think you can't see it. It's at the bottom, but I saved it. And we're going to preview it just so you can see what it looks like to the kids. So this is what it looks like, and they just take them and drag them um, in order. It's pretty great, um, exactly what you would want them to be able to do on a computer. They can move them up and down. It's a lot easier than the A, B, C, D um, options. You also, while you do this, after you finish it, especially if it's a lot of stuff, um, you can fill in the correct responses and it will show you what the correct response is just to double check that you did it right. That's it. You don't have to submit all and finish. Um, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please let me know and I would love to help you um, figure it out. Thanks guys.